The Encaustic Art Compact Hot Plate is powered by the painting iron. It comes in a nice box, and inside that box you'll find packed the fretwork stand fixed to the anodized aluminium hot plate top. Inside there are two large nuts, and these are what clamp the iron into position. The little booklet is in five languages. It'll tell you everything that you need to know about fixing the hot plate together and the basics of using it. When you look at the hot plate, you'll see a small gap between the stand and the plate itself. And it's in this gap that the base plate of the iron will be clamped. That little iron's enough to power the whole of that hot plate. The feet are made of rubber and they help to keep the hot plate from slipping. Anodized aluminium is specially treated, hardened, and therefore cleaner. But when you put the soft metal of the iron onto the hard metal of the aluminium, it can be wise to use a paper slip to protect the metal surfaces from rubbing against each other. Undo the knurled nuts, sufficient that you can lift the stand up easily. To first slide in the paper slip, and then take the handle off the iron, undo the button, handle away, put the iron down on that protective paper, tuck in the cable, and slide it right way forward, as far as it can go, and then do up those knurled nuts to finger tightness. Tuck in the cable, make sure both nuts are tightened, and then the iron is secure in place. Now you can set the temperature, temperature mark is that little slot at the bottom and just rotate to low and you're ready to go. It takes between 15 and 20 minutes for the hot plate to really power up to working temperature with the iron set at low. The wax should easily melt, it shouldn't be stiff or sticky or little crumbs and if you're finding that it still is too cool try turning it up to high, give it another five minutes. Fixing card onto the hot plate can be done in several ways. This is a heat proof tape. It works well because the adhesive on the tape isn't affected by temperature. This is an A5 card so you can see that the hot plate is quite a lot larger than an A5 size. The hot plate surface does need to be clean for the tape to stick properly. But the tape acts as a masking tape as well. And so if you press it hard down using a piece of tissue, it'll mask those areas and you'll have a nice white border. Of course you could use a simple clip, but then that can get in the way. And another way to work, a lot of people work like this, is to take clear wax, or actually any colour of wax, wax over the entire surface of the hot plate, and then place your card down. The suction of the wax will hold it in position. Then you can start working. As you work, the temperature is coming up through the card, melting the wax. So you can crayon and melt. You can use tissues to rub and to dab. You can tear card. And you can use that to make effects, marks to drag the wax around. You can use rubber stamps, rubber combs, sc scrapey tools, sponges. This is a hard sponge. So many things that you can do. The rubber brush. Regular brushes. Even the end of the brush for very fine lines. And using the brush you can heat up pans of colour on the hot plate and then work onto rigid surfaces, painting and layering. Plenty of tissue and clear wax are used for cleaning. Start with rough cleaning using the tissue. And remember that you need to change the surface of the tissue to a cleaner part quite often. Then you can apply by melting the wax, the clear wax, onto the hot plate. And again, take a clean piece of tissue and wipe, changing the surface of the tissue so that you're not spreading around dirty wax all the time. 
The anodized aluminium is in itself a very clean material, that's why we use it for a hot plate. Eventually you'll find that no more colour comes off. And you can check that by putting a piece of tape on. It'll stick down perfectly. And when you peel it up, you'll see a very faint, perfectly clean line. When it's cooled down, just undo those knurled nuts. Carefully slide the iron out. And you can use it as an iron again. The compact hot plate in Caustic Art.